Hi everyone, welcome to Click for Fish and in this video we'll be setting up a new aquarium. So this is the new aquarium and I'm about to show you why I need it. So the reason I need this new aquarium is because of a fish in this tank and you can probably see him down here. It is my albino male bristlenose and he currently has eggs in there and I need to remove him as these other fish will eat the fry. So now you all know why I need this aquarium. Let's get it set up and get the fish in it. All right, so we need to get this um, fish tank unboxed and get it set up today so that we can get this fish over. Now, what I'm gonna do with this tank is I'm actually gonna drain the water that is currently in the five foot tank and I'm gonna put some into this aquarium so I don't have to worry about it having any problems with the water temperature and changing into a different water type. Try and keep the transition and move as easy as possible for the fish. So for this aquarium, I did actually get from Kmart and it is an absolute bargain. It doesn't come with a light, but it comes with a background. It also comes with this filter. It has a couple of fake plants in it, which I'm probably not gonna use. And it does come with some substrate as well. So I'm actually not gonna use any of this in the aquarium. I wanna keep this tank bare bottom and make it as easy as I can for when the fry hatch and release into the tank. Um, I did also buy myself this heater from Kmart, just um, cost me $15 and gonna keep the water at the perfect temperature for my bristlenose. What else have they got in there? So they also have a lid in here, which is gonna be good. And they also have a little net as well, which is gonna be handy for me as well. I'll be able to put this over the top of the cave when I pull him out so that he can't fall out or escape. But in general, just have a look at that. That is a good size aquarium for the breeding. Get this plastic off. Get this heater out. So now all my aquariums that I have, and they all seem to do well on it, is I usually set this on top to just under 24, if you can see that on there. And that'll be a good temperature. And I'm gonna put this heater just on the background once I get this undone. And I'm just gonna lay it down there across the bottom. Um, this filter, so this filter is actually a bargain, so perfect for this size tank and what's going in it. And as you can see, it comes apart there and there is a little filter cartridge that sits in there, which is really easy to clean and very handy. You can also just up here, control the flow you want. So I'm gonna have it on a pretty strong flow because it's just gonna sit up here at the top of the aquarium. And I'll show you what it looks like. So there it is guys, got the heater in there and got the filter in there. Um, like I said, don't have a light for it, but I'm gonna have it in an area where it's gonna get pretty good light from outside as well. Not for the whole day, but bristlenose pretty much live in caves and that, so they don't need a big bright LED light on them at all times anyway. So now that I've got this set up, it's time to find the perfect spot for it. So there we have it guys. This is where I'm gonna be keeping this aquarium set up. Um, in a good spot and just time to get water in the tank now. So let's get to it. And there we have it guys. We have water in the aquarium. The filter's running, the heat is going. Um, I've used all the water out of this tank here, which I'll show you. Um, 
Um, we've emptied this tank down a bit here. So using that water, getting this fish out straight into there, he's not gonna have any shocks to the system. We're also gonna get one of the stones out as well, which is in there. And I've got a little bit of driftwood that I'm gonna put in there as well. So, right, now that I've just shown you guys that, let's get the next process done. And there we go, guys. So the move is done. So he has his cave over there, which he has his eggs in. And we have some driftwood that I've added and a rock. So hopefully all goes well with these and they hatch and we get some baby fry. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the aquarium build and I will keep you updated with what happens with the baby brissonos. So hopefully we have some success and they all hatch. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, comment anything you think I could improve on and hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.